Manual therapy works at the brain and the spinal cord and locally. And I'll give you the evidence of this in just a second. It also, we see these changes or, or these effects in individuals with medications. So we know opioids, for example, affect the central mediated nerve system. We know that uh, ibuprofen, its effect is primarily peripheral at the site of the injury. Well, manual therapy has been studied and it works in all three areas and that's actually quite useful because regardless of the pain type that the person has, we know there is evidence to support that manual therapy can help. It alters the threshold. Now let me give you a little story about this and it'll help give you context. There was a study out of Florida and an individual was looking at whether or not the pain threshold of people who had central mediated pain was different from other normal individuals who did not have central mediated pain. And he asked the people to put their hands on a hot plate and he would slowly in every 30 seconds increase the temperature of the hot plate by one degree. And he asked the individuals to keep their hand on that hot plate as long as they could until it got too hot and then they were allowed to remove their hand from the hot plate. They compared individuals with central mediated pain versus individuals who did not have that and they did find that those individuals with central mediated pain had lower pain thresholds. So we know folks who have chronic central mediated pain, pain that's been around for a very long period of time, have a threshold of pain that is lower than individuals who do not have that. Manual therapy has been shown to actually push that threshold of pain to the right. In other words, it increases the pain threshold. There are more things that have to occur mechanically to that individual before that individual feels pain. And that's a real plus. And the fact that we have evidence to support that is actually bodes very well for manual therapy. Here is a summary, and I would recommend reading Joe Bialiski's paper. It was published in 2008 in Manual Therapy. It was a great summary that talks about all of the different areas that have been investigated that manual therapy does have a neurophysiological effect. It can affect the spinal cord. It can make uh, sympathetico excitatory changes. It lessens temporal summation. It can affect peripheral inflammatory mediators. It has a central mediated component. And probably the one thing that we've noticed, especially if you've ever had manual therapy performed on you, that you notice the most is the muscle reflexogenic changes. It, it really decreases the tension of the muscle around the joint that's actually being affected. It feels good. So there's a pain relief element, but there's a tangible neurophysiological element. If we had to compare biomechanical changes and neurophysiological changes, the more evidence suggests that the neurophysiological changes are so much more compelling. In fact, they probably lead to biomechanical changes more so than biomechanical changes contribute to neurophysiological changes. So very compelling evidence in this particular area. So it can improve motion and theoretically it's supposed to change the position, although there's no evidence to support that. That's biomechanical. And then neurophysiologically, we know it can affect the spinal cord. We know it can affect the brain. It can also have a peripheral inflammatory effect as well. So a lot of good evidence to support what manual therapy actually does.